morning everyone and welcome back to my channel it's Rachel Ray here and today we're going to be doing a whip and chat where I'm working on my goofy unicorn by Victoria's Moon uh, we're gonna move the camera and I'm gonna get a little bit closer so that you can see what I'm doing and we're just gonna craft and chat so pull out whatever you're working on and let's get down so everybody how are you doing today um, I decided to pull this out because I'm really trying to finish this as soon as I possibly can. I have been working on this for months and I really would like to move on. Even though I love the color palette, there are many things about this canvas which I, I believe that Victoria's Moon has changed, um, but based on the canvas that I was given, just a few pretty, yeah. I, I'm not having the best time with it. The only time that I have to work on this is when I'm working in the living room because I'm working on, as I've said, I don't know how many times I'm working on a secret project that I can't actually share with anybody until the third week of December. <laughs> so hopefully that's going to take me a while as well. So, you know, anyway, I, it, it kills me to not be able to tell you. I don't think I can do this again. Uh, it's just, it's just too much, too much in my heart. Um, but anyway, I am having fun with it, but it requires me to be in here in the craft room instead of working in the living room, which I find more comfortable because I can spend time with my husband that way. Um, hopefully I get a drafting table and move out my couch and before you're, before you get worried, um, we never use the couch. <laughs> the couch is, the couch is basically where my, where my dog sits. So <clears throat> anyhow, um, make sure that you have some water or coffee or what have you. And I'm going to just explain really quick at the be beginning. Both of these pens actually come from Daniel at Lace and Lathe Works. This one is a glow in the dark pen. I haven't tested it yet, but it's just, it's so perfect for this canvas because it's very, you know, pastel and unicorn. Um, this one is probably my favorite pen uh, that I've ever gotten. So um, I really, really love this pen. It's a hybrid and Daniel did an amazing job on it. So thank you, Daniel. Um, in this one, I'm going to be demonstrating how to use Distracted by Diamond's new thing called Patty Wax, which is this right here. I'm actually really loving this, um, as you can tell. Um, so we're going to do that later on when I get into the darker colors, because the one that I have is this black one, and it still smells. It's been exposed to air since I got it about two weeks ago, and it still smells amazing. So just, just a little... Thing. If you're wondering what that is, I'm going to have that link down in the description as well. So you can check out Patty Wax for yourself. But basically, just really quickly, it is a an alternative wax instead of pink or clear or whatever it might be. Uh, instead of using the pink or white or whatever you might be using at that moment. Um, it's just an alternative to that. So I'm really loving it so far because you don't have to refill as much. And I don't find that I refill that much, but I was talking to a few people and they were just saying, yeah, I'm refilling all the time. I think if you, if you are refilling a, quite a bit, you might be pressing a little too hard. But with this wax, I think that might solve the problem that you're having as well. All right, so I'm starting on X first here. I've also seen a lot of um, comments in our Facebook group. If you don't know, if you you know, if you haven't joined yet, it's called Crafters Anonymous with Mrs. Crochet and Coffee and Rachel Ray. Yeah, we we share the group. <laughs> it's a thing. Um, we well, I've seen quite a few people saying that they're intimidated by Square and you know that kind of thing. Um, I'd say let let it just happen because at first I was scared of square too but they're not that difficult really once you, once you start I picked up two and now I got a place down two <laughs> okay once you start doing square it's my opinion that you're not going to want to go back to round because it's so satisfying I guess part of the reason why some people might be scared is because 
of the, the drill quality problems that we've had in the past. And I think that we're mostly past that stage. It just depends on what seller you get. And, you know, it, it's, it is, you get what you pay for that. That's really what it comes down to because it's not cheap. Not all resin diamonds are made the same. Some are resin, some are acrylic. I guarantee you that if you paid less than $10 for a 40 by 50, then you got an acrylic diamond and they're just, they're just not made with such care. You know what I'm saying? And they don't shine as much either. So that's one of the benefits of making sure that you go to a reputable seller. I've gotten so many requests on who are my favorite sellers. So I thought I might talk about that today because to be honest with you, and I'm, I mean, seriously, um, the past week, week and a half has been super stressful. Like I'm breaking out. <laughs> um, and I cannot talk about it on my channel. It's, it's, don't worry. It's not like life threatening or anything, but it's just a lot of stuff is going down. And until it's over, I can't talk about it. So, um, I'm going to try to stray away from the personal today and stick to the technical. So I hope you understand. And, um, I'm sure, I'm sure I'll throw in a few stories here and there, but we're just going to talk diamond painting today. <laughs> we're going to talk all about it and all the stuff that, you know, answering questions and stuff, because I would like to do that more. If anybody has questions for me during the week, then I can answer them in my video. Um, it's, it's so much easier for me to address things in a video than for me to answer everyone's comment because it's, it's, it's very time consuming. And I find that because I have my, you know, my other job, which I have to go to here in another few hours, um, I, I find that I have all the intentions of answering those comments and then, I get distracted by some other task that I have to do and boom, it's gone forever. It's the same. I mean, it's the same with my personal friends and even my family. Like I'll forget that they sent me a message. I'll hide the chat head or I'll exit the email and then they'll message me a few days later and be like, so, and I'm like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Yeah. I'm one of those people. You have to follow up with me, <laughs> but it's, it, yeah, I do it to myself and I know that. So anyway, I'm going to take a sip of coffee and I'm not going to edit it. So if you don't like coffee sounds, I don't know. I try to be as quiet as possible when I do it. It's not like I'm Mr. Killian Jones over there lapping up water. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm joking, Mr. Coffee. I love Killian. Oh my God. Did you see that picture of Killian like flopped on the couch? Yes. Life. Anyway. Okay. Back on topic. So, uh, questions. People were concerned about squares. Oh, reputable sellers. There we go. See, I'm not doing too bad this morning. I'm on coffee number two. Um, so as you know, um, if you're not, if you're brand new to my channel, hi, welcome. Um, <laughs> I make crafting videos and they are basically, I do diamond painting, cross stitching and beaded cross stitching. And I might do something different here and there, like a paint by number. I actually really like paint by number. It just takes forever. <laughs> <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Sorry guys. I went into a coughing fit. Okay. So reputable sellers. As you know, we went through a, a bit of a scare with the copyright. Now that's, that's always been there. <laughs> that's always been there. So, you know, the threat is always there and it's possible. I mean, I did, I did take down a video. I might take down a few more. I don't know how I feel, um, about things right now. We're sharing them on my YouTube. Um, I just, I really think that it's important that we do support artists and we support companies who support artists, right? So I'm just going to say it now. And I know that 
you know, some, some people are going to feel differently and that's fine. That's okay. But this is my channel and this is broadcasting out into the world. Basically. Um, I would rather see someone doing something, you know, that is, that is right or that is good than watch someone. I don't know. It, it, it kind of bugs me that I was allowing myself to be in the dark for so long about this or just, you know, turning a blind eye to it. I don't really want to do that anymore. So I'm going to, oh, that does not belong there. Um, where are my tweezers? I'm going to give you a list of sellers who create customs on AliExpress, but I want to warn you against, you know, copywriting just, or, you know, copying any old picture that you find on the internet and then getting it made by one of these companies. Lunifer. Um, that that kind of goes against what I'm talking about. So I will warn you, please don't do that. Um, contact the artist. See if you can get permission first. If you don't know how to do it, there is a website called, the one that I use is called Labnol. I will link it in the description of this video. Do I have a pen so I can write that down? One sec. Okay, I've gone ahead and written it down so I won't forget. But the the website will allow you to use that photo, upload the photo into the site, and they will double check where it came from. And I think that if you even have to question it, then it is owned by an artist. However, there is a library of copyright free images that you can get as customs, or you can actually go and, um, what's the word I'm looking for? You can, so you can search for a custom or the best thing would probably be just to get a picture of one of your pets or your family members or something like that. You know what I mean? Play it safe. If you want, if you want to, you know, go against the grain and do what you want to do, that's your business, not mine. I won't make it my business. I, again, I'm not the diamond painting police. Um, but just, just know that there are companies out there that will give portions of what they earn to the to the artist because they have an agreement. AliExpress stores do not have that agreement, period. There there is no kickback for the artist. So basically, essentially, buying from AliExpress, unless it's a copyrighted or a copyright free, public domain, completely legal to use photo, that is actually, you know, copyrighted art. So there was a comment on my last whip and chat, um, from an attorney and I'm trying, I'm struggling to remember your name, but thank you so much for, for saying your comment. I'm going to insert it in here. Um, any art that is made by anyone is copyrighted from the moment that it is created. So technically it doesn't matter who it is. It is copyrighted. However, there is art that is uploaded to these, you know, places where you can give your art to us. Sorry, one second. Sorry, I don't know what's up with her. Um, they, they sell their art or they sell their photo to a stock website. So you can, you can sell the rights to the image that you've created or a photo that you've taken. Easy way to make some, some money, by the way if you're interested, um, especially if you're just getting started with photography, but I digress. Um, you can just buy, you know, blissfully ignorant of all of that, which I have done. I have ignored it, um, saying, well, it's the seller's fault, not my fault, which is true. It just depends on, you know, where, where you lie by, by perpetuating this, I feel that I am creating a bigger problem. So that's, that's why I'm making a stand. I'm not telling you what to do though. 
okay? Just so we're clear, because <laughs> I think that a lot of people could take offense to that. And, you know, when, when I, when I have, when I have a moment to explain myself, I like to take it, if you understand what I mean. Okay, so reputable stores on AliExpress for making good diamond paintings, period, regardless of the copyright and how you feel and, you know, all that stuff. The best stores that I've found to make a diamond painting are Ever Moment and all of her sister stores, Cuff W. Key, which I purchased the Geisha watercolor, Geisha, I think, watercolor, Geisha, no, Princess. I don't remember what I called her, I'm so sorry. Um, she's beautiful. Uh, that one from Cuff W. Key. Um, Sophie Beauty Store. I like the way that they chart their images. And I like their, you know, the canvas, the sticky, all that stuff. It is tape. All of these are tape. The only stores that don't use tape are like Mayan. Um, I've heard Hankins does customs with poured glue now. Um, there's one that starts with a Q. I can't remember how to say it. Um, but I can't vouch for that store. Anyway, we're not talking about poured glue. We are talking about, I'm just double checking that I'm doing the right symbol. We're talking about reputable stores. Um, now the stores that I've listed are more expensive. Uh, I do not, there are some stores that I will not buy from again for personal reasons. Again, I gave home, I gave home fun. I gave who can a second chance. I have a replacement canvas coming in the mail still. It hasn't gotten here yet. Um, that was before the 11-11 thing. And um, yeah, the home fun I'm not really a fan of because, well, the one, the one home fun that I got was round and I don't like the dark. They have really super dark training wheels and that's a huge turnoff for me. Um, I just, I just don't like it. Um, and so no, um, and I'm trying to think if there's any others. No, because Cami Yi, they sent their canvas all balled up, basically. So, yeah, I'm, I think that those, those cheap factory stores that just churn them out for, you know, a really, really inexpensive price, they're making a quick buck and they're not going to care about the copyright thing. Um, apologies, my dog decided to bark at the truck that just parked across the road and then I had to wait for him to leave. Ah, uh, the joys, the joys of having a Luna. Anyway, um, okay, so that's enough about AliExpress. The bottom line is if you, if you order from AliExpress, you will not be informed of whether that image is from a, you know, stock photo, stock image website, or if it was ripped from someone on DeviantArt, added to a big catalog, and then sold as a diamond painting, and now they're making money off of that artist's work without giving them the credit or any money for it. Um, it is seen as a huge no-no in the art world, and to the person who, you know, there, there were people who messaged me and everything, and uh, while I understand that it's aggravating and, you know, it you might feel like, how dare you ruin this for me and all that stuff. Um, well, I'm glad that you opened your eyes and now you can see things a little differently. And that's how I feel about it. So, um, the, the alternatives are websites that advertise artists as a part of the business. So for example, I'm going to start with a company that I haven't, I haven't tried yet, which is called Dreamer Designs. They have a website. They offer uh, images that are legally licensed from 
other comp from uh, from artists and those artists are you know you can see their work you can see them uploading to instagram and stuff like that um I don't have any experience with that company, so I can't say yes or no on that front. I heard that they're coming out with new new designs because they've had the same designs since early this year. Was it February when they launched, I think? Um, anyhow, um, the other websites, like obviously everybody knows Diamond Art Club provides legally licensed artwork. And also they, they take stock photos. So as you know, or maybe you don't know, but the, um, what, what is it called? Is it called Jesus of Nazareth? The, the religious painting that I got for my grandmother. Um, if you haven't seen that unboxing, you might like it. <laughs> um, it, it is a stock photo that, that image was sold the rights were sold to that image so it is available free online that's how you can get around it it you know what i mean like that's that's how i would go going forward is find a really nice stock image or photo that i like if i can't find anything that i've you know made or taken a photo of or ask my friend if it's okay if i make this one image the issue, the issue with that is that if you upload your image to one of these AliExpress sites or a site that you don't trust, they might steal your image and use it on their website. People have said that that has happened to them before. Now, I would expect that places like Evermoment wouldn't do that, but, you know, I don't know. So I can't speak on that any further, but... Um, Die Moon Shop is another shop. I'm looking for a symbol and I'm talking and I'm like, uh, so let's, let me just think. The one that I want next is this one, 550. Okay, sorry, it took my brain a minute because it was hiding under the piece of paper. <laughs> All right, and now <clears throat> I'm actually going to show you this patty wax really quick. And I'll talk about the Y Moon Shop here in a second. So it's already filled. Can you see? Um, but basically what I've been doing is just using the side to scrape the wax into the pen. It needs to be at room temperature, obviously, because otherwise it's going to be too hard to, to manage into the pen. But it's it's a really genius idea. So well done, Robin. This is this is really really neat. I'm I'm really enjoying it. So you do need to kind of move it into the pen, squish it in there, kind of like you would with the pink wax. You know what I mean? And I don't worry about the excess. I just kind of move it around like that. Now she told me with this wax that I got, the black wax that I got that it was, you know, just use it with the dark drills. So you might want to match the wax with the color or with the, you know, the shade. Like have a, this one is used for darker colors, but then if you're switching to a light color, maybe use, you know, one of the lighter ones. Anyway, you get me, right? So let me just make sure that this side is nice and full. So it's the same thing. Um, and if there's excess, like I just clump it on top and that way I can keep using it just like that. I hope you can see that. I'm not looking in the camera at the moment, so I apologize if it went totally out of focus. Okay. It takes, it takes a bit of concentration. That's for sure. Cause I'm still new at it. <laughs> Okay, cool. Let's do this. So if you're interested in patty wax, please check out Robin's Etsy shop and have a look. She has all kinds of colors and scents and everything. So I totally recommend it. And oh, as soon as you warm it up, it the smell just goes everywhere. It's lovely. I don't know what 
the the black one that I have I don't know what that scent is called but it's really nice okay so diamond shop let's talk about them because they do have artist collaborations and they quite frequently bring new artists to their shop and when they bring that new artist they get they have a limited edition kit which I just unboxed on my channel so if you haven't seen that you're going to want to go over and look at it and you're going to want to listen to the video because there is a contest in it. Um, there is a giveaway where you can win without without buying anything. You can enter to win a limited edition kimono kit. The artist's name is Kathy Delance. I learned how to say it. <laughs> um, and oh my gosh, she's just she's got a really great style. So I can see. OK, Robin was asking me if there was any kind of uh, residue. Now this is the old, an older, an older one. There is a little bit. I should probably get, hang on. Okay, here are my trash drills. Okay. Because I noticed that she likes to kind of squish the wax in and that's when she was showing me earlier. She likes to squish that wax in on a, an extra drill like that and make sure that there's no residue. I totally forgot that. <laughs> okay, and now it'll be good to go. So what was I saying? Oh yeah, so contest, duh. Sorry, I get distracted. Um, the, the giveaway, if you only commented on the video, I'm afraid that's not enough. You're going to have to follow the instructions carefully. There is a contest app called Gleam. Gleam is how I ran one of my other giveaways and it is brilliant. The thing is, last night I double checked because people were complaining that it wasn't allowing them to enter. Now, if you entered the 2000 subscriber giveaway and you entered your email address, it should already automatically log you in to the site, but then you have to follow the next step, which is answering the question. If you're still having trouble and you're not able to get in uh, using that email address, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, I would recommend either contacting the Gleam support because I do not I do not know how to use Gleam in that way. I looked it up last night. I was in a panic and everything. Honestly, I can't find the answer if you're still having issues. Please contact them or use a different email address. Now, I will warn you, please do not use more than one email address to enter the competition. It is considered cheating, breaking the rules. It's not nice, so please don't do it. Because if I do find that someone is entering in multiple times using multiple you know, email addresses, then I will disqualify all of your votes. So please play nice. Just enter the once on my competition. You can enter everyone's contests, though. That doesn't mean that you can't go on to Mrs. Coffee's or Heika's or Fiona's uh, contest and enter into theirs. Please do. That's how you will get multiple entries. But on each person's contest, please only enter once. Does that make sense? I hope it does. So in total, you should have five available entries into the contest by following all of the ambassadors. So the ambassadors for the contest are myself, Heike at Stone Cold Coffee Crafts, Mrs. Crochet and Coffee, Diamond in the Rough, and Cheryl Burke. Cheryl Burke is awesome. She's a dancer on Dancing with the Stars. So if you're American and, and you watch those TV shows, then um, you'll definitely know her. Now, I'm finding that this the wax is coming off quite a bit today. I don't know why, maybe my hands are really warm. So I am gonna switch back to the clear wax. All right, um, but 
if you're, you know, I'm sure everyone is interested in entering the contest, but also please check out their shop. Diamond Shop is doing a, a charity event where, like I said before, they're giving 10% of all sales from now until the 17th of December to the Destiny's Promise Orphanage. They're going to host a really big party. They're going to let the kids relax and enjoy the relaxing benefit of diamond painting, as well as all the volunteers at the at the shelter, if you want to call it that, at the orphanage, and uh, the owners as well. And it should be a great day for them. It's a way for them to celebrate. And I don't know if you watch Diamond Shop or Rowana Jamir's YouTube channel, but they like how do I, how do I put it? They celebrate they celebrate Christmas to like the nines. <laughs> They've had a Christmas tree up since September, I think. Was it September or October? Early October? Like I was I was shocked when I saw them putting up their Christmas tree in their videos. It, and it's beautiful, by the way. So I know these kids are probably surrounded by all of these, you know advertisements and people in their lives talking about Christmas and, and all that. So it would be really nice to give them a gift. And so by participating in, you know, buying from their shop, you're going to be helping to support this, this big party. And also, obviously it's not just about the party. It's about uh, groceries like food, food, medicine, maybe even clothing. Um, it's, it's a really good way to support some kids as well. And you get diamond paintings. So win-win, <laughs> right? So I'll have all the links to that below and please check out the unboxing if you haven't already to enter the contest. Uh, let's see what else is on the agenda today. I have bear with me I'm going to take a sip of coffee and collect myself okay I think I'm ready so news in the in the diamond painting world um I did I did receive some gifts and you're going to see them opened on Friday <laughs> um I'm really excited to share them with you so thanks again to the lovely lovely ladies who sent me gifts in the last two weeks, I really appreciate it. Um, it's obviously, you don't have to send me gifts. <laughs> um, but if you are interested in sending me something, please message me on Instagram or Facebook. Um, or send me an email, whatever you like. And if I don't respond to your email or your message right away, it could just be that I'm at work. Um, I wanted to let you all know that... I am going to have more items in my shop, um, but because, one second, because of the holiday season, Luna's here, she wants to make her presence known by coughing at you, sorry. Um, <laughs> hold on, look, 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 say hello, say hi. Hi, Luna. What's up? Luna makes it into a whip and chat. <laughs> Good girl. Yeah, I know. I know. Oh my goodness. Okay, uh, one, one second. Right. <laughs> okay, so I got some new items for my shop. I got crystal stylus pens, um, and I have some new, um, needle minders or cover minders, however you wish to use them. I got new ones in, in the last few days. So those will be available on my shop soon. Not today, <laughs> I'm afraid. But I'll let you know. Um, hopefully it'll be by next week. I did do a launch of the Koi, the Llamas, and the cherry blossom flower needle minders or cover minders and that went down really well so thank you all so much I do want to say though that there's going to be a small change and I know that not everybody is going to like this uh, what 
what it means is that my processing time might go up. Um, yesterday, I went to the post office, and I have to go again this morning. Um, my post office has two postal workers at it. It is very small, but it's in a very well-trafficked store. So imagine your local, I don't know, definitely not Walmart, but maybe like a, a food lion or a shoppers or a small chain grocery store. This one, this one is tiny. Okay. This is like, it's got four aisles. <laughs> okay. Um, just painting the picture here. So what happened was a few weeks ago I went in and you know, I usually have maybe eight to 10 orders at a time when I launch something new in the shop, because y'all are so helpful and supportive and you buy things from me. So thank you very much for that. Well, they told me a few weeks ago that they were going to have some changes happening for any packages that were going to the United States. And they said that that means that there'll be an extra step. Essentially, any and all packages that are going stateside are, how do I even put this? I have to go into the post office and now I can't just hand over the items which have already been weighed and I've attached a stamp to. I can't do that with US items anymore. That It was very easy before and now it's complicated. Each and every parcel, no matter, no matter what the weight is, no matter what um, option you choose at checkout, whether that's standard or registered or express, every single package that I send now has to have a customs declaration form on it, which means that the address is registered, the contents, the value, everything, everything is, is registered and it takes a very long time for the system. Now, a few weeks ago, they told me that it would be in the new year, but they rolled it out like this week and I had no idea. And of course I have all these plans and, you know, Christmas and gifts and things. Well, <laughs> uh, I rocked up yesterday and I had 15 parcels and not including the, uh, the Patreon glitter bombs that I sent out as well. Now those took precedence because those ladies have been waiting for a while for me to get my gear together and, you know, actually send them out. But they, they were like, okay, well, we need to figure a way out for a way for you to do this so that it doesn't take so much time. And I'm like, well, yeah, I don't, I don't want to take up all your time either. You know what I mean? Like you're busy. I'm busy. I don't want to be here for half an hour again. It took, it did take half an hour for us to register all of the, the packages. And that was only the, how many was it? Six? Yeah, it was just six that I sent to the States. Now they're new at it. You know, they're, they're not used to the system yet. Um, so it, it might've taken a little bit longer than it will in the future. But what that means is that my processing time is going to go up because I can't bring 15 packages in on one given day. <laughs> I feel really bad for them. So I apologize if you order something and it takes a few days for me to send it. I'm going to try to spread them out, um, obviously by the date and time ordered, those packages will go first but it might take a little bit longer than it used to. If you're American, if you're international, it's fine. It's, it's super easy to send um, your packages and I can do everything before I leave the house. They told me that it's possible that there's a way to do it online, but I scoured that website yesterday and I can't figure out how to do it for them. It just won't let me. So unless they create a portal, for us, I don't think 
I'll be able to do that, which is sad because I don't want to burden my local post woman, women with all of these packages, but it's also my hobby and my side business. So it's something that I'm not going to stop just because of a new rule coming from the United States. So I just wanted to let you guys know that um, it, it'll only affect the the total time by like a day or two, M maybe not even, you know, if it's a slow day and um, there aren't any other orders, then it's possible that your order will be sent next day. It, it has happened, but I don't know. I don't know what this is going to bring. So if you were thinking about waiting until I had all of the items up in my shop before purchasing. Um, I don't know. I was looking at the times I'm saying, I don't know, but you know, you're, you're going to do what you want to do. But I was looking at the shipping times. You, you will have to order before December the 5th for me to be able to send it out in plenty of time for Christmas. Anything after December the 5th, I can't guarantee before Christmas at all. Not even a little bit because, <laughs> you know, it is the most busy time of the year for postal workers. Um, so please get your orders in early, but just know that there are a few other little things coming to the shop and I think you're really going to like them. Uh, one is this little, I'll show you actually, it hasn't been changed yet. So sneak peek. I have to open it off the side. Okay, ready? Ta da! Isn't it adorable? This is my little kitties, twin kitties, that are hugging each other. So, yeah, that's coming soon. I've got a few of those. Uh, quite a few <laughs> um, this time. More, more than the llamas. I should have ordered more llamas. But anyway, um, those, and then there's the crystal silas, but in new colors. So dark blue, we've got red. Um, what else have we got? Uh, let's see. Oh, no, they're in the other room. I'm sorry, I can't show you those right now. But um, because I'm changing them, I'm trying to change them all into diamond painting pens as quick as I can. But it's not exactly a quick process. It's very invasive and it hurts because <laughs> I burn myself quite a bit with them. Uh, 550. I'm almost out of 550. I hope I don't run out. Uh, I think I'm going to cut it really close. Is there more 550? Hold on, I have to, I have to check something because now I'm kind of worried. more there. There's more down there. Uh-oh. Okay. Well, I guess we'll find out because this is all the 550 that I have. Unless it's in the bag in the other room. I'm going to go check that. Hang on. One, one second. I'll be right back. Crisis averted. <laughs> I found the bag. It was in the other bag in the other room. So that's good. That, I was like, what? No way. Um, yeah, there's no way. <laughs> no way I'm out. Um, let me actually just put these in. So yeah, I'm excited about that, but it's keeping me busy, if you know what I mean. Um, so I want to have them available as soon as possible so that people can shop for Black Friday, for Christmas. But I also have an incredible amount of work on my shoulders already. And yeah, I've been feeling a little overwhelmed by everything that's going on so I don't know if I'll have them up as quick as I wanted to um so yeah we we shall see I will let you know as soon as they are available I might even make a little video who knows um but it is it is exciting and I like I like finding new stuff for the shop but I'm just gonna say it now uh this is going to be the last order Ever of crystal stylus pens that I like I I never say never but 
I have had such incredibly bad luck with making diamond painting pens and um, getting sellers and all of this that I am throwing my hands up after this one. So this release is going to be the last release. And from now going forward, I'm going to focus more on creative pursuits and just focusing on the craft that I'm doing. So diamond painting on, um, on diamond painting, on cross stitching and actually working on the craft. Because I think, I think there's something that, how do I explain this? Okay, I'm going to back up. When I first started diamond painting, and you, you may or may not know this about me. When I first started diamond painting, I immediately, my, my, my mind immediately thought, you know what would be great is if I could start my own company. That was back in 2018. Um... That ship has sailed. I'm no longer interested because not everything that you do has to be a business. And I realized that my shop has become more of a hindrance to me than a help in some ways. And while I love packing things up, and I, I really love trying to make it as special as possible for that person who's opening their little, you know, parcel from me. I really love that. I don't think I want to do Etsy next year. I don't want it to be something that I rely on or something that I find as a hindrance. So, because not everything that you craft has to make you money, right? Um, I was kind of using it in lieu of, um, you know, as a way to fund the channel, but I realize now that my channel, while I, I love making YouTube videos and everything, there is a part of me that has to create a border for myself and kind of step back a little bit. Something has to give. So the first thing is that, so I'm going to be suspending Etsy after I sell my stock. So the things that are in my shop and the things that are coming up that I have to finish <laughs> that are going in are going to be the last things that I stock. It's really sad. I know it's really sad, but I just don't have anyone else to help me with it. You know, some, some shop owners enlist their family to help them. I don't have that. And, uh, and I don't want to make, force my husband to help me because he already helps me enough. <laughs> so I don't, I don't want to do that. And I would like to focus more on finishing products, projects that I'm doing. Cause I find that Etsy does take a lot of time because I allow it to, you know, it's, it's me, it's me. It's not you. I promise. <laughs> it sounds like we're breaking up. We're not breaking up. I promise. <laughs> anyway. These are the thoughts that are going through my head as I'm diamond painting. So today I have work and I am working the late shift. So I will be at work until 930 and then come home, have dinner and relax. Um, probably I'll probably be <laughs> making pens tonight. For the shop but I really want to finish this um, the reason like this is the last diamond painting that I'm gonna do as a review for a company if a company wants to send it to me for an unboxing that's fine but like I want to choose which paintings I finish does that make sense so like diamond shop when they sent me that limited edition kit they said that we, we could use it if we wanted to in our videos. Um, but then when I asked you all, you know, what do you think? Should I do it now? Or, you know, should I, would you like to see it on the channel now or later? Or, you know, what do you think? A lot of you were really, really 
nice and said, you know, it's up to you. You should do it when you feel ready. And I thank you all for that because you're right. I don't think I'm ready as much as I love that painting. I have a lot going on and opening up, even though it's, it's gorgeous, it's so beautiful. And I want to display it and I want, I would love to be first, you know, but it's not a competition. It's not a race. It's a piece of art and I don't want to rush it. I want to enjoy it. So I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be doing it, um, right away. Uh, and I don't think I will be doing any going forward. I was contacted by Victoria's moon and again, they sent me an email again, uh, asking if they, if I wanted a free diamond painting canvas for review. Uh, and I did not respond because no, I don't want to do this to myself again. This is a chore. This is not fun. So for anybody out there who's thinking, Oh, I'd love to start a diamond painting YouTube channel because then, you know, I can get free canvases and companies will, you know, support me and my endeavors. There is a double edged sword in that way of thinking. This is not the way I would recommend going about it. I would rather spend my money my hard earned money and do canvases that I feel like doing when I feel like doing them instead of feeling backed into a corner into doing a, an image that I don't like just for the sake of reviewing it. This is a huge canvas, <laughs> huge. <laughs> anyway, do you get me? Do you know where I'm coming from? Um, I'm sure that if you, I mean, I want to give them the benefit of the doubt, but then again, like Victoria's Moon has a lot of images on their website, which are copyrighted, which they haven't gotten permission to use. And I don't think that they'd be taking them down. Maybe they will. If somebody is closer to the company and they want to ask and get that started, that would be awesome. But I don't think based on my interactions with that company, I don't think that they would, they would even bother. They wouldn't be uh, interested. Uh, actually, I don't want to do that color right now. Let's do a really bright color. Let's do the square. It's the middle of the day here and it's really difficult to see this canvas even with the light pad. Can you guys see? Well, you can see really nice and clear because <laughs> you're, you're in the camera, but I find that it's still pretty difficult to negotiate the symbols on this particular canvas. So yeah, anyway, um, I said square, didn't I? I sure did. Okay, good. So, um, tomorrow is Thanksgiving, you guys. Uh, I'm not celebrating Thanksgiving. I will be working. <laughs> so I'm going to live vicariously through all of your pictures. So please send pictures of your shenanigans on Thanksgiving. I would love to see them. I might even try to start a Thanksgiving thread in the group Crafters Anonymous um, and mark it as you know, if, if it's all right, I'll mark it as an announcement. This is just coming off the top of my head. And, um, I would love to see you post, you know, your food pictures, your pet pictures. Um, if you feel comfortable with it, your family, do you get all extra? Do you wear like the turkey hat that's upside down <laughs> on top of your head? Like how, how big does Thanksgiving get for you? And if you don't live in the United States and you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, are you getting ready for Christmas? I've seen a lot of people have their Christmas tree up. Um, I don't. <laughs> we are going to wait until the, probably the 8th or just before the 7th, 6th of December. That's when it's the, what is that holiday? Or it's not a holiday. It's like a, a sorry, a holy day in, um, 
Catholicism. They have the Annunciation, I think it's called. Um, yeah, it's been a while, folks. So that's like the day where I would typically put up the tree. Um, and we're going to have to scope out little trees. I'd love to have another real tree. Um, though we did. We did see artificial trees at Tesco's for super cheap. Uh, I think it was like 10 euro, 15 euro, something like that for, you know, a little, a little tree. And then I think the, the bigger ones were like 15, 20. I'm probably misremembering, but it was, it was cheap enough. It wasn't like 30 quid. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was cheap. I was like, can we buy one? <laughs> totally taken in by the sale, but, um, no, we're not doing artificial trees. We will have a live tree that we can plant outside like the other ones. And we need, we need a Christmassy name. I'm trying to think of one right now, maybe crinkle or something or trash. This, this particular color is actually the best color that I've gotten so far, as far as trash drills go. But anyway, I digress. <laughs> um, yeah, so getting excited to start decorating and stuff because Thanksgiving, we had at my mother-in-law's, um, basically it was just a, like a Sunday roast on a Monday. So we had turkey and ham, stuffing, mashed potatoes, cabbage and carrots. Cabbage is not my favorite vegetable, but I'll eat it. <laughs> it's healthy. Um, I didn't bother making candied yams. I thought about it and then I was like, I don't want anybody to stick their nose up on to it and like ruin my association <laughs> with it. So I'd love, I'd love to make them, but I need to eat healthy. <laughs> I got the double chin going on. And winter hasn't even really, like, begun, begun. Here, it's pretty mild up until January. And that's when we get all of the storms. And it's just going to be miserable. So, um, I've got to, I've got to get into a good routine. And that's the other thing, guys. That's the other thing that has been on my mind. Because I've been spending so much time on YouTube and Etsy that a lot of my, you know, my needs as a human are being neglected. And so, yeah, I just need to breathe. And that's, that's kind of the main reason. I'm sure that if you're watching this, you're okay with it, but I just feel like I need to give my reason. You know what I mean? I don't want to make you feel like I've left you high and dry or anything. There are plenty of other diamond painting pen sellers too. So, you know, it's, it's, not all a loss. Um, I have been thinking and it was Jen from mini diamond painting, um, over on Instagram. She's Jen here on YouTube, um, giving me ideas. So if you make acrylic pens and you happen to be watching this, if you're interested, I have an idea, um, going forward, but I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see, but yeah, the, the whole, where's the heart now? There you are. The whole, the whole, um, business, you know, running your own business and crafting and YouTubing is just, um, it's overwhelming <laughs> to me. So yeah, I will, I will sell out of what I have, but once I've done that, I think I'm going to, um, close the shop for a little while and focus like next year and just focus on doing my crafts and enjoying them. So yeah. Okay. Uh, off that topic. Jeez. I'm like, I'm totally ugh. <laughs> bringing you down. Sorry guys. Um, so yeah, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's. Oh my goodness. It's all happening. The holiday season. Um, I hope that everybody has a fantastic Thanksgiving. Um, please enjoy with your family. And if you don't celebrate or if you don't have family to celebrate with, I hope you have a fantastic Thursday <laughs> um, and weekend. This Saturday, I will be going live 
and that will start at 6 p.m. British Standard Time or Irish Time or at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. So if you need to check what time that is in your time zone, it might be easier from that way. Um, oops, I got stuck. Um, that is going ahead as planned. Um, I'm sorry I canceled my live last weekend. I was not feeling great and I didn't want anybody to, I, I'm the kind of person that if somebody's in a, in not a great mood, it rubs off on me. I'm quite, I guess you would say I'm empathetic. I just, I feel what they're feeling through their voice. And I know that a lot of, you know, crafters in general would be more like that, I guess. Um, maybe not, I don't know, but I feel like my audience is kind of more like that. So I didn't want to, um, subject anybody to my bad mood, uh, and my bad day. So, and I'm, I'm not good at faking. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not good at ignoring, um, issues and stuff. So that's why, that's why I, I canceled, but I don't have plans to cancel this one. I promise. Um, it's going to be really laid back and relaxed. So hopefully this will be done by then, but I'm not making any promises. Good Lord. I keep saying that, but like, I want it to happen. I'm manifesting it now. I'm just like, this has to be done. But I got into this unexpected spot of confetti right here. So that's what's slowing me down. I was going super fast up there. Um, oh, well. So yeah, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up at that. I hope you all have a fantastic day and that you enjoy your crafting. Um, really excited that a lot of you have started cross stitching with me. You've told me it's, you know, my videos and, you know, stitcherista getting back into it as well. Um, that we're kind of motivating you to get into it. And I, I like that. I like seeing that, but don't feel pressured. If you don't like cross stitching, I'm still here. I'm still diamond painting and I will continue to diamond paint, but I, I am enjoying kind of switching up the, the crafts, you know, you get tired of doing the same thing all the time. So I will let you go now. I'll see you soon. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. It's free. Uh, I will talk to you all soon in my next video, and I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful day. Talk to you soon, guys. Bye!